Jake Paul is rigging this fight versus Seam Rockman Jr. Let me explain. Now, I know that's a big accusation, bigger than Jake's forehead even. What's wrong with you, bro? What the heck? You tripping, bro. You tripping. But let me explain, man. There's just a lot of evidence for this. It's not the type of rigging. It's not the type of thing, type of rigging you might think would happen. A lot of people were talking when Jake said if he accidentally knocks him out. That's My brother said the same thing to me. He's like, bro, I don't know if you should do this. Like, what if he accidentally knocks you out? Like, you just got knocked out by this kid. That's the mindset, Jake's in. That's not the proof. That's not the proof today. I, did, I don't think anything of that. We need to know about that. But what we need to know about is pretty simple. Jake Paul, Haseem Rahman Jr., there's been some sort of clause, some sort of rehydration clause that has been leaked, and that is how Jake's gonna rig this fight. Now, let me explain this. Because of the size difference, Paul and Rahman will be contractually required to participate in a private weight check at 12 p.m. on the day of the fight, at which they both cannot weigh more than 214 pounds, according to the source, and you know what, guys? It's not very good for Haseem Robin Jr., a guy that has known to be as heavy over 270. In the 270, he's known to walk around there. There is no way this guy's walking around anywhere close to 214. I mean, look at him. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. So he's clearly going to be cutting a decent amount of weight. Uh, his last fight, I think, uh, he was 211. He weighed at 211 on the scales. He's got to get to 200 for this fight, I believe. That's a big difference. 10, 11 pounds, that's going to be a drastic weight cut, heavy water loading, heavy weight cut. It's going to be a hard weight cut for the guy. And you know what? About four months ago, he got knocked out. I mean, just look at this. Boom. Knocked into the ropes already. That should be counted as a knockdown. He's able to get back off. Um, not much. Look at him, man. You can't. And look at He's no legs underneath him. Overhand left. Comes over the top. Knocks him down. He is out, man. Look at him. He, he can't get up, slow rise to the feet, very clearly concussed at this point, and then look at him, stumbling forward to the referee, just stumbles backwards, man, head movement for no reason, not even a feint, he was winning this fight, don't get me wrong, if you went back and look at this fight, he was winning this fight, uh, jab, jab, it's just, oh, uppercut, left hook, it's done, and I agree with the referee stoppage there, he definitely did not agree, so he was still, still coher coherent, right, he still knew what was going on, and if you don't know, obviously, concussions, brains moving around, hits the skull, all that, and that's what causes a concussion, already, when you drain your body of fluids in a drastic weight cut, that takes away all the, a lot of the fluid in the brain. That's why guys that have drastic weight cuts sometimes tend to have a more have a worse chin. You can look at TJ Dillashaw when he went down to 125 in MMA. So we can look at Hasim Rahman Jr. the same way, and also consider just four months ago he got knocked out. He 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 didn't lose consciousness, but he was TKO'd and was certainly concussed on the night. There is no way he was not concussed. No, I doubt any doctor on earth is going to say, he's not concussed there, he's good, he can keep going. You know, maybe what, Mario Yamasaki, he'll be like, oh, he's fine, he's chilling. But every other person in, in the world, yeah, we know this guy's pretty obvious he was concussed. So when, we, when you consider that factor, that obviously, you know, the brain's moving around, that's brain damage. Concussion is brain damage. That's going to affect your chin going into a fight. All, another factor that's going to be heavily affecting his chin, making this, they're making this weight cut even harder for Haseem because he's not going to be able to rehydrate to the levels that he would want to be at. There's going to be less fluid in his brain. His brain's even more susceptible because he, he's going to obviously gain probably, f he'll hopefully flow, or hopefully gain like four pounds after that 12 p.m. weigh-in, midday weigh-in. However, Jake Paul, we already know, is leaning heavily into his power. I mean, look at this guy. His ass is like a dartboard at this point. Like this, he's clear. He's clearly on something, obviously. So uh, he's been getting massive, leaning into the KO power. So I think we're gonna have to this fight for Jake Paul. He's gonna need to wait Hasim out, land jabs early. Uh, Hasim has a good jab, but he's gonna have to get Hasim tired. Obviously, a drastic weight cut will affect your cardio as well. And they're saying that Jake Paul's walking around at 200 pounds. There's no way, man. Look at him at this weigh-in. He looked drained. You can look at his cheeks. His cheeks are all sunken in. I can't even do because I'm so fat. He was completely skinny, or not completely skinny, but the guy's got abs, sho abs showing in this way, and he normally doesn't really. He doesn't have that type of body type. Uh, so obviously, he's cutting, he's cutting a decent amount of weight. I think Jake Paul's probably walking around 210.
10. I think that's a lie. 200. No way. No way this guy's walking anywhere close to 200. He's got to be at least 210. Um, unless, obviously, like a lot of boxers, not a lot down in the legs. He's skipping leg day. But still, no way this guy is not at least 210. So I think it's pretty good for Jake. He's going to be in there. He'll probably be, he'll definitely be smaller on the night, though. I, I do think if Asim can get any type of good rehydration process going, um, he'll be, he'll still be bigger than Jake, but, man. Uh, I guess in his last fight, he actually weighed 224, so that's his last fight. Um, so I was actually wrong about that, but still, uh, he's, lightest he's ever been for a fight, 211. On weigh-ins. 11 pounds off that man. Haseem is gonna be drained at the weight cuts. Man. That's, it's pretty simple. Is Jake rigging the fight? I don't think so. But his team's pretty smart. And they know what they're doing. His team's kind of making it easier for Jake. However, Haseem Rahman Jr., even if he is a little dehydrated, even if he is a little more susceptible to the power punches of Jake Paul, is Jake going to be able to figure out the stance switching? Is Jake going to be able to figure out his fast jab coming low with the... He comes out with that low guard. He's here. Jab comes up. It doesn't come straight. Is Jake going to be able to handle that? There's so many questions. They need to be answered, and they will be on fight night. So stick around. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll try and answer some of them come fight week and in the coming days. Peace.